so let me start uh, like uh, we were talking about the face plane analysis why it is important and uh, uh, because doing a quantitative analysis is quite complicated and for face portrait allow us to understand the behavior of the system in a qualitative manner and uh, the there are various parameters that terms that you will come across the null clients the face port rate and the in, and the initial conditions also play a very important part in how the system is evolving so let me go into the full screen mode yeah so then uh, let us first look at the uh, the di a linear dynamical system which can be expressed as x dot is equal to a into x x dot is dx by dt so the rate of change of uh, x with respect to time so uh, now uh, we can express a can be considered as a character uh, like this is a characteristic equation and uh, a can be represented as a b c d this a b c d are the individual elements now uh, calculating the determinant we can do using an eigen analysis that determinant of a minus uh, this a minus lambda uh, b c d minus lambda so what is we are doing is that a minus lambda i is equal to zero that is what we are trying to do so calculating the determinant and equating it to zero so we will be getting lambda one and lambda two that will be obtained using this uh, the normal polynomial uh, uh, equation and how the roots are found so now what is x null client x null client is the flow in the uh, the dx by dt, the change with respect to the x direction is zero. So only there is a change with respect to the y direction. That is defined as x null line. And y null line is the change of y with respect to time is zero. So y is stationary. We are considering y as stationary. And that is uh, equating dy by dt equal to zero is termed as y null line. And what is a fixed point? The fixed point is when uh, the point where both the x null client and y null client intersect. So at that particular point, there is no change with respect to x or y. So now understanding the roots of the equation, that is lambda 1 and lambda 2, will help us determine the stability of the system. So now if both the roots are real and negative, if it is negative, that means that it is a stable system and uh, it is a stable fixed point. And then if the roots are... Uh, real and positive if it is positive then uh, it is an unstable system and likewise if the roots are real and having opposite polarity then it is a saddle node and uh, roots are imaginary means and that is complex quantity gets it's a center so it is uh, uh, like uh, the uh, it will be a sinusoidal in nature and when we put it in a face portrait it will be a pure circle so that is called as a center and then if the roots are complex and real and the real part is negative if real part is negative it is it is a uh, stable uh, stable uh, characteristics and uh, since it is complex it will be a spiral it will be spiral and if it is a real part is zero then it will be center so if the roots are complex and the real part is positive that means it is a unstable spiral so the uh, the spiral will be keep on expanding it won't converge so we can represent it like this in this uh, delta and tau axis so you can see this tau and delta is the ones that are used here so when we represent it with respect to tau and delta this is the center along this delta axis it is the center and there is a um, curve defined by tau square minus 4 delta equal to 0 which is coming whichever points that is coming between this curve is the spirals and above delta equal to zero that is the unstable spiral and whatever is below the delta is equal to uh, the uh, tau is equal to zero line is a stable spirals and similarly the unstable nodes and the stable nodes are defined and uh, when delta is negative that is a saddle node so now this is the represent this one you can visualize where the center spiral the sink everything lies so this is a uh, this particular part is the line of unstable fixed points and this is the uh, line of stable fixed points so now uh, a few examples like x dot is equal to minus x plus x cube and y dot is equal to minus 2y 
So how do we define null client? We have seen that uh, the x null clients are uh, when x dot is equal to when x dot is equal to zero. So we will get x is equal to plus one or x is equal to minus one. And the y null clients are when y dot is equal to zero. So what is uh, uh, when we equate it, it will become y equal to zero. So this is how it will be represented. The, in this case, the null clients are represented by uh, these lines and the dots the black solid dots is uh, represented as the stable node and the hollow dots is represented as the unstable nodes. So taking another example, x dot is equal to ax, y dot is equal to minus y. So here we can see that, uh, that these are the null clients and this is the, there is only one fixed point that is at the center. So I think the other few other examples we can see directly on the uh, p plane tool so, yeah in that tool also allow us uh, like we we can so this is the case when the line of fixed points this is the case where line of fixed points how we get the line of fixed point we are just replacing the equation y x dot is equal to ax and y dot is equal to minus y where a is equal to zero so when a is equal to zero it results in a line of fixed points when a is equal to negative value it will be it is a, a stable node from uh, where, from whichever initial points that we start every time it will converge to the center so this is that is why it is stable so it is a converging so this is a stable node so as you vary the a a value you can see the slope of the line is changing so here it is converging a little more faster. And when A is equal to minus 0.5, the convergence is slightly slower. And what happens when A is equal to 1? Then that is an unstable fixed point, And then all the points are diverging. And the, the, uh, the slope of the divergence can be controlled using the parameter A. So these are a few of the examples. We will try different examples and then uh, uh, in the tool, MATLAB tool. So finally, solving this particular dynamical equations, we will be getting the null clients as x is equal to minus by by a, y is equal to minus bx by a. And this is how the line null clients will look like. And this is how the fixed point will look like. So in this case, it is a saddle node with a is equal to one and b is equal to two. So the tool allows us to vary various parameters equations so we need not actually solve the equation it is a convenient way of uh, visualizing complex dynamical systems so this is the one example with the polar coordinates where uh, uh, x square plus y square is equal to r square we can equate it and then solve the equation so that uh, for that one null clients will look like this and uh, the stability point will look like this with variation in a you can see that when a is equal to zero it is a center so it is circling around and uh, uh, from whichever starting point we start the arrows will be circling around with the same radius so i have one more slide i will see the Yeah, there is uh, some other uh, interesting examples where there. So this kind of this particular fixed point, this is the character. This is the equation x dot is equal to two x y y dot is equal to y square minus x square. Here. X null client are uh, x null clients are defined by x equal to zero and y equal to zero, and y null client is defined by y x is equal to y and x is equal to minus y. So the fixed point occurs at uh, at the origin, and now we can draw the null clients. We can see both the null clients are drawn, both the x and y null clients, and uh, so this kind of system is called as. So here we can see that it is. Uh, this is a dipole fixed point. The dipole fixed point means it is converging from at one end and it is diverging at the other. Uh, it is 
it is converging at this particular from the bottom and it is diverging from the top so this kind of this is a special kind of fixed point and this is called as a dipole fixed point so let us go through some of the examples uh, you can download the pplane 8 software uh, this uh, my matlab screen is visible uh, yes sir okay okay so you can try downloading this pplane 8 so then you can uh, you will be able to visualize it as well so you just need to install this pplane 8 tool and then just go to the matlab screen and then just enter pplane 8 so a window like this will be opening up and then here you can see that you just need to insert the equation uh, x is x dot so this is a x dot and this is y dot uh, and uh, what is the corresponding equation to x dot we have to type it here and corresponding equation to y dot we have to type it here and this a if you uh, whatever parameters we are using that we can define it here so that here is the parameter space that you want to define it here so currently there are six parameters that can be updated and then we can define the windows like in the figure plot you define the window size same way we can define the window size here and then you can define if you want a trajectory or uh, you want to view the trajectory you just need to click on arrows and if you want that line and this null climbs you can just uh, click it here so you will be able to uh, view accordingly so currently we will try this particular equation x is equal to a into x and y is equal to minus y so you just get need here i have entered a is equal to 2 you just need to uh, enter the values and then type proceed so you will be so let me clear all i will change the a value to one and then just two. So now uh, these are the two null clients for this particular equation. X is equal to a into x and y is equal to minus y. So this is the null clients. And now we can start at different values. Uh, we can see how the flow is happening. So if we click it here, so you can see that the flow is happening here. When we click here, it is going here. So it is a this kind of the fixed point at the origin is a unstable fixed point. So you can see that uh, uh, we give a small perturbation. This particular uh, trajectory never converges converges to the origin. So this is a unstable fixed point. Now what happens if we change this to minus one? So now if you see that it converged. It converged. Uh, this is converging. So this is like a star node, actually. Wherever you start, it will converge to the origin. Now we can change the slope. We can modify the slope a bit. So you can see that the slope is varied, and then but since the uh, a is negative, it will always converge to the center. Let us try other example. Maybe we can try the last example that we saw actually. So this one, you can change it. You can practice yourself. And then we will see that dipole fixed point that we saw. We'll start with that one. So how do you find a direction with the help of the curve? No, with the help of, you can see, you can, okay. This one, you can use the arrows here. So we can put the arrows and then you can do proceed. So you can see that flow is given here. So this will give the direction. Oh, okay. So I'm just figuring out how to zoom out. Uh, yeah, and also in this case, there is no null plane, right? Because uh, yeah yeah correct correct yeah
because uh, it is uh, uh, x is equal to zero, uh, like null line will be like x dot is equal to zero means x is equal to zero and y dot is equal to zero means y is equal to zero. So x is equal to zero, that is the uh, y axis will be the x null line and the x is equal to zero, uh, the x axis will be the y null line in this case. So I'm not sure how to uh, zoom out, but I'll just quit and start again. Okay, there is a already one equation that is entered here that is preset. So we will just try out this particular equation. So we can see first see the null clients. So these are the null clients uh, that is defined by this particular equation. And uh, if we want to see the trajectory, you can see that it uh, now it is better to see the arrow actually. Yeah, you can see it will start here and then it will when uh, we can also go to this particular solution and then uh, solution tab and then sh give show null client so we can have both the arrows and the null clients so we can see that this is a special kind of very interesting uh, curve it is coming from this particular equation we will try out the example that we have uh, that was given in that for the dipole fixed point go into x into y and then this is Okay, let us first plot the null clients. So these are the null clients. And we will we will also display this particular show null clients. And then we can start the trajectory. We can start at different points. So we can see that uh, yeah. So this is how the curve will look like. So this is a special kind of fixed point. You can just check out for dipole fixed point. Yeah. So remaining examples, I think if you want, uh, we can go through it here. Otherwise you can try out yourself. Uh, any one of like you have in, already installed the uh, people in it. Okay, uh, we will go through this particular uh, one more example we will see here and then so this is this one we will see here and then afterwards you have you can try out yourself and then if you are facing any difficulties then you can let me know. Yeah, this is how the null clients will look like. The 
x null client and the y null client and then we can see we can start at different points here and then we can see the flow of the trajectory yeah so so when you are solving for the when you are studying and when you are solving for the any dynamical system, uh, any dynamical equations then you can try out in your notebook first and then if you are not getting the solution you can quickly verify using this particular tool so this is a very user friendly tool you just need to insert this particular x dot y dot equations and then the parameters that you need to set so instead of this phi we can uh, we can generalize it we can call this parameter a and then we just need to give the value of a uh, set the value of a so we don't have to fix that particular value Yeah, so the uh, null clients for selecting null clients and the trajectory, you can use this particular uh, radio buttons. So that's all about this tool. And then if you uh, you can explore it yourself, and then you can let me know if you have any questions. So that this is a very useful tool. Um, however, later later you will be having some assignments. Uh, uh, in, in your assignments, it is not advised to use the P plane eight. Um, uh, that you will need to do using the MATLAB or Python. So this is just for representation and ease of understanding. So you can use that. So if any questions are there, I can ta take it. Otherwise, we can end our session today. Sir? Yeah. Is there any plotting library similar to this for Python? Oh, the Python. I am not Python. I am not. Uh, I know. I am not aware of any such tools in uh, like uh, P Plane Eight. I will just check it and then let you know. Python. We uh, we do. Uh, we even I have done using the normal uh, Pyplotlib. Uh, so uh, this particular tool I haven't used. That can be interfaced with the Python. I haven't come across. If I come across, I will let you know. I will just check it anyways. But I'm I'm not sure. Okay, sir. Thank you.